Yeah, we're at B and H again. We've got something special for you today. We're gonna to rip apart the sportster, the dragster sportster. <laughs> evil good evil's off. And it looks like we've just got holes for a few months. Oosh! Check out this bad boy. Yeah, so this is my drag bike, which uh, everyone's probably seen before in the videos and stuff. It's all up in the Built magazine. There's the babies. Oh, there's Andrew. Starting with the frame then, um, me and my old man H, we built the frame um, in our own jig. Um, now we used, um, down here, look. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from here to here, under the motor there, that is actually stock Sportster. So that was used, it, it's not much more you can do with that anyway, but that, you know, use that as the cradle for the engine. Um, and then we built the jig around that. Um, so all the rest of it here, we've constructed. Beauty. Obviously we stretched it here. Um, I can't remember how much by. Um, 40 degrees of rake. Um, nice. Which um, added rake like that, it um, makes it more stable at high speeds. Um, not much good for going around corners, but we didn't really <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, and obviously hard tail. Um, uh, wider at the back than normal. Um, to get the, the bigger wheel and tyre and all that good gubbins in. Um, the wheel's actually in the stock position as opposed to the engine, so it's like a sort of um, a standard length chain, if you like. Um, so my weight when I'm sat on it is directly on the tyre, yep. um, which gives more grip, although it's never got any fucking grip. But <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's all about grip, baby. Yeah. What tyre are you using? Um, well, this is, um, you can ignore this one. This is a Shinko hookup. Um, which a is Shinko a, hooker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is a, a street legal drag tyre. Um, this is on a Buell wheel. Um, but um, uh, didn't actually build the bike around this tyre. Um, but this one's on here at the minute for testing and tuning, so we're not wearing the slick out. Yeah. Um, so there's quite a bit of a gap in here at the minute, which when the slick's on it, it takes up a lot more of that room and it looks right. What slick are you using? Uh, Mickey Thompson. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, rear sets. Um, rear set foot pegs. Yeah, the Taiwan special. Taiwan? <laughs> no, they, they are very good, really. Um, and uh, yeah, use a Japanese master cylinder. Um, fluid just sits in this clear tube here. Um, so we have uh, uh, feet right at the back of the bike. Um, it, um, it, so all your weight's transferred to the back of the bike. Um, it makes it easier uh, to control again in a straight line. Gear shift is opposite way round to normal. So you actually shift up for, for first and then you go down to go up the box. That makes sense, yeah. yeah so um, it, it takes a bit of getting your head around it uh, to begin with, um, but once you've got your head around it, you know, it, it works a lot better because you a lot less miss shifts. Is there other drag bikes? Sorted. It's no good you giggling away. <laughs> I'm in there, you know. Are you in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where are we looking? I don't know what's happening down here. What's all this bad boy? Yeah. <laughs> on this, um, I, it all looks a bit stupid at the minute, but this is um, these two go to the overflows on the bowls on the carbs, um, so you get uh, overflow fuel. Uh, so it drops into this tank here, so you're not getting it all over the bike or you're not rooting it to the floor. Because 
if you route it to the floor, if you get some come out, if it goes on the tire, then it just spins. Yeah. Um, so that collects in there. Uh, you get quite a bit of quite a bit of that, uh, when, especially when you're launching that hard. Um, you get a lot of fuel sloshing around inside the carb. Um, this one here is just a breather off the gearbox, so we just put that in there just in case anything comes out of there. Four plug leads, because I run two plugs per cylinder. Beauty. Um, which I machine myself. Little lithium battery there. Um, shit hot they are. Um, don't run a charging system, so um, I tend to put a triple charger on it between runs, although you'll get like, you probably get a day out of it anyway. Um, but uh, yeah. Well, use a bump start for it then. Uh, yeah, we got um, that one there as well. I did, on the colder days, when the oil's thicker and stuff like that, this does struggle a little bit with starting it. So um, on those sorts of days, um, we run uh, an Anderson connector on there and um, a big big car battery to whiz it over. Um, there's not a problem then. Sp Speedway fuel tank that yeah. we used. Um, big tank modified to fit <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah what's the range on that 10 mile <laughs> uh, it, it'll hold two litres so you're not touring on this bad boy then not really <laughs> <laughs> not really um, and uh, this here is the junction collector for the throttle cables because I run twin carbs um, bad boy yeah uh, there's uh, one of the fuel lines going to the carb this side so I run a inline fuel tap um, so there's obviously two of those um this here is the breather which goes up to the cylinder edge so yep. uh my own little catch tanks that i make um because you can't really buy anything small enough to put on your bike um so for sort of how can we got to have a catch for tank for it is that one of the regs for racing? yeah it is um this one that uh, you, you barely get anything in really you get a little bit of moisture and that's about it really uh, but you've got to have it and if you get a problem and it wants to spew oil it only ends up in there and yep. not everywhere like and uh yeah oil tank no it's not a nitrous bottle it <laughs> is an oil tank it's I not nitrous it. yeah i've checked it it's definitely an oil tank <laughs> Um, it, <laughs> it was obviously, you know, a fire extinguisher or something like that once upon a time. Um, You've not caught fire yet then? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not yet! <laughs> um, so we have a, a sight gauge going down the side of it so I can see how much is in there. Yep. Um, which is handy. Um, so that's all stuff that I've made. Uh, this one here is just another breather tank which um, goes to the oil tank. Um, yeah. It's... Uh, all to do with um, oiling within the engine um, because when you're revving these things this hard um, you know we're talking seven to eight thousand revs um, you end up with too much oil going into the engine at those sorts of revs and it can't scavenge it back out quickly so you end up with the motor swimming in oil which is not something we want because um, that just saps power yeah um, so yeah, it's, it's all it's all to do with that. Uh, and a steering damper um, because it can get a bit squirrely at times. Um, so that takes that out of it. Front end is um, basically just a stock length sports to front end. Um, and a 40 rake yeah 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 40 degree rake um and uh i've run progressive fork springs in there um gma four piston caliper on the front um which is uh is very good um sometimes it's not too adequate but <laughs> 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 depends where i'm riding it Kind of front um, tyre you got, and it's just a standard Cobra. Is yeah, it? yeah, Not yeah. bothering with race slicks on. Well, you don't need it, do you? No, really? well, yeah. you know, especially um, you know when we're on the airfields all the time and stuff like that. This sort of thing's better anyway. Yeah. But... Where are you? Oh, yeah. oh, in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the bar. <laughs> uh, well, we're 
actually uh, lower geared on the primary off the motor sprocket than stock. Um, the uh, clutch is um, uh, like a hybrid auto clutch, uh, very good. And the gearbox itself, um, I've got various Andrews gears in there. Um, but it's all stock ratios in there. Originally, it was the original seat that we made for it, but it, it was probably about there. Um, and it didn't have all this padding to sort of slide off the back. So um, uh, at the time, like when I was like, um, uh, sort of first started doing it with the bike, um, uh, I was launching it harder and harder and harder. And the more and more you had it starting to slide off the back. So um, uh, in the end, for a, a quick fix, um, I had uh, a lick and stick pad on there. So <laughs> I was pretty much sat on a frame. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, did her. So um, yeah, sorted sorted this out. So uh, I lengthened the the back of it um, last year because it's a fiberglass base that we make anyway. So I just lengthened it, um, and then uh, uh, Brian uh, recovered it for me and built it up at the back. So he's nice and comfy now. Beauty. Fall off the back. Yeah. Um, so that was the solution to that. The morning motor fest yesterday is Andy Rodwell with the Harley Davidson Sportster drag bike. Oh, it's the bloody cockpit, man. Cockpit, yeah. Um, so we've got uh, on and off there. Barry's disconnected at the minute. Um, this one's for whatever. Yeah, uh, that's Eddie from Iron Maiden. Yeah, sort of. Um, and uh, uh, oil pressure light. Um, I run uh, two air fuel ratio meters. Um, one twin card, baby. One for each cylinder, yeah, because we're twin card. Um, and they do require um, different settings to one another, uh, especially full throttle main jet sort of stuff. Does vary quite a bit. Uh, yeah, rev counter. Um, All important that bad boy. Uh, yeah, to be honest, um, probably. I mean, you do use it, but like, because um, yeah, because you rev it so quick, um, you know, and, and you're going up the box that quick, uh, you ain't got a hell of a lot of time to look at it. To be honest, <laughs> um, you sort of like when you're looking through it, um, the last thing you're doing is looking straight ahead. Um, yeah. If that makes sense, be you, you sort of like you, you, you're looking at that, 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 um, and I tend to sort of look around the sides a little bit. It, it's it's difficult to um, to describe it really, but you, you've got like three hundred eyes looking at everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, uh, rev wise, I mean, you, you you know the sound of your motor anyway, so you you know roughly where you've got to shift, but. Um, it is very handy for launching, um, you know, so you, you can hold the revs where you need it for launching. And, um, yeah, sometimes I look at it for when I'm shifting gear. But uh, more often than not, you know when you've got to shift. Yeah, um, sort of. You've not got a shift light, then? No, I don't run really a shift light. Just something else to catch fire, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, I can ride it. Um, you know, uh, consistently enough. I don't really need it. So that's where the rider skill comes into it. And uh, I don't like to have too many uh, sort of gizmos on it for riding because it, do, it does take the fun away from it a little bit, yeah. to be honest yeah. with you. Um, uh, so, you know, I, that's why I'm still, half the reason why I still shift it with my foot. Um, I've ridden bikes with um, air shifters on and stuff before. And you, you literally, you just hold the throttle wide open and push a button here when your shift light comes on. Oh, right. And um, uh, you know, there's a lot of gubbins to go with that. It's more money, you know, it's all done on a budget. Um, and it does it does take the riding out of it. Yeah. Um, you know, with this, you know you're riding it. Absolutely, um, yeah. And you, you, you know, it's, it's a thing of its own to ride. What's happening here? Uh, this is the bottom end for my drag bike, um, so I've just um, uh, last week got it back from uh, Hammer Performance in America and they've put um, this uh, uh, 
uh, XR 1200 or late XB Bill crankshaft in it for me. Um, so to do that, um, can't show you that at the minute because I've got a degree wheel on the end of it, but um, they actually CNC machine the casing uh, to take a bigger bearing. Um, so there's a lot of um, uh, better things about this crankshaft than um, uh, normal sports to crankshafts um, because at this level of performance and power and what we're looking to get out of it is got to be strong. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah. It's the mad wizard. Yeah, this is like the oh. the, the, <laughs> the performance fucking bible for the motor. Is, so we're not just is. bolting things on here. Oh, That's just some theory. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of theory. A lot of theory. <laughs> a lot of theory. Yeah, definitely. Badass. Right. I do. <laughs> Get these pots on. Yeah. What we're doing? Uh, we're just cutting some head bolts now. Uh, the bowels on, obviously, and um, we'll talk these down in a minute. What's happening here? Got a twin good. intake. Oh yeah. Don't fuck about on this phone, will you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was a bastard tool. This was an 883 originally. It was originally, yeah. Was it running now? 1200. Yeah. Well, there's one of them. Um, so uh, I run uh, velocity stacks. They're actually made for uh, 45 mil Webers, and uh, then I made up a plate here and then an adapter plate for a Makuni. Um, Run a Thunder Jet on there as well. Um, that's really from last season. Whether I'll use that this year, I'm not sure. Um, but it's there if I want it. So they're um, HSR 42s. Um, and uh, yeah, awesome cards. Um, and uh, uh, there's quite a few um, tweaks and jetting differences when you're running two of them as opposed to one. Two. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you just ran the one, um, uh, well, the, the jetting that you'd have for one car, then it would run in far too rich. While you're still moist over that bad boy, moist, <laughs> that's next on the list. Oh yeah, that's the super bike killer. So stay tuned for this bitch. <laughs>